big people up, man. We don't bring them down, man. Especially family. Matter of fact, man, all Marvel Brothers are family, man. Whether they choose to acknowledge it or not. We don't do this to, to belittle the next man, bro. I want you to understand something. We gotta be here. Look, every barber shop has an OG. Now, not all G's are created equally. There's OG's and there's certified OG's. Two different types of OG's, but this one, he's certified. JP is like the elder of a town, but in a shop. He's not that old though. He's not old at all. He's young. Just hit his 40s. Jay, what am I getting? Uh, the make it as you go haircut. The make it as you go haircut. We're keeping the front long because my corners, my corners are light. So you we got the Darrell Reeves corners. I got them. <laughs> They're never coming back. JP is that guy that you want to have in your corner, especially when you're a new barber. Let me tell you something. JP, if I was struggling on a cut, oh, my man would literally stop his cut and help you for as long as you need it. He could be behind 10, 15 minutes if he had to, to help you. And then it would be one of those things too, like I would turn the chair, I would give him that look like, S -s -s what you think, Jay? He'll either do one of those nods like, you good to go or, So right here, it's gonna go, it's gonna be lower, kind of like a round afro shape. And then here we just keeping this long. So we, I'm, I'm gonna curve all of this um, pretty much freehand. Oh, and by the way, I don't, I, I just like that one and a half. Oh, you need that white one? I like the white one. Tips on getting the shaver line out, you know, when the shaver makes that line, do it afterwards. You know, at first, sometimes people go bald and then they put the shaver. Yep. Once you put the shaver on there, it's actually a lot difficult to take it out. So, my best suggestion to you is put it at the end on the lower part that way you can tap any line. And don't put the um, don't put the, the shaver, don't put both of them on, only put corner here, like that. You're able to actually maneuver and get the line out, just flicking, you know what I'm saying? All right guys, so look, I'm going right to the master for freehand and purposes. I like this machine a lot better and the motor is stronger. So this is where I do my my shaping. Okay. What's a what? What's a great way to get hired at a, the at best a way, shop? The best way to get hired at a shop personally, don't bring a portfolio of, of actual work you've done because we all can take picture of our actual best work 
and present it to somebody. The best way is bring a model. Bring a model and be ready to display your skills and be honest. Like if you go to a shop and you're like, look, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll, I'm good with straight hair. I might not be good with curly hair. I'm good with bald face, but it's, when the hair gets too long, I can't do that type of hair. Because then the people around you can actually work with you. And uh, if they have a desire to hire you, they know that in the areas you need improvement. You know what I'm saying? But don't be that guy that you think you know it all, but realistically you don't. And, and meet the guys in the shop, because not every shop is not every barber. Yep. I would meet the guys in the shop, hang out with them, introduce myself. Like, I'm, that, I'm, the, I'm the barber in the shop that you got to go through. Like, they literally sit you across from me. And then, like, we, if we could take JP's nonsense for five days straight, then you get higher on. Isn't that right, Fonz? Now, look, certified OG barbers, they apply pressure. They want to know what you're about. Are you going to build? Are you going to help grow the team? Or are you going to try to break it? And if you're trying to break it, you're not staying long. That's the value of having a certified OG in the barber shop. You need them. Now look, another major attribute of being a certified original barber. JP will make sure he pushed you. So let's say for example, you have a four o'clock coming and it's 3.45. Shoot, you know what? That's not, it's 3.50. Let's make it more interesting. It's 3.50. New barber, don't really have a clientele, but you have a four o'clock. JP would push you, push me to get a client, made me believe, because it's one thing to push, but it's another thing to make a person believe that you could do it. I think he, you know, he created a lane for himself, you know, so he capitalizing of things that we never thought about, you know, we was coming from home, we was content with $5, the thing that people don't understand, barber school doesn't make you, man, it just gives you a paper to tell you, solidify that you're a barber, I've been in this industry for 17 years, and that's how I started, you know, I started in my living room, charging like 8 bucks a cut, and finally came a time, man, when I was like, I think I'm worth more than $8 a haircut. So I proceeded on and got my barber license and started working, you know, behind a chair, being a professional. But always remember, man, like back in the days, we was the barbers for all the homies, you know what I'm saying? You had that one dude that used to cut his own hair, and then somebody was like, yo, you should cut my hair. And essentially, that's what, what, how people begin. One thing you can't practice at home is medicine. You can't be like, yo, I'm a doctor, or <laughs> I'm gonna start doing surgery on people. That right there, you need some licensing for. To begin your barber career, you, if you got some brothers, you know, small little brothers, or you got some friends, and y'all wanna save money, that's how it all starts. It all starts in a porch, in a living room, in a little small bathroom. That's how people emerge, you know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't really knock what he's doing, man. And plus, YouTube out here is, Giving people life, life, you know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah. Hey, come over here. 
It looks good here, but in the camera it's kind of dark. There's a knob on the side. Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, wow, night and day, bro. is really what makes it, uh, that gives it that pop of those look. Fonzino with the final product. Literally, I just got off the last one right now. And everybody, and like a lot of people were asking, you know, how come you come off all this in the shop? So come out with a YouTube channel. Like, man, I've been trying to make it happen, guys. And now that you're recording that, that's, that, that's dope, man. It's like perfect time. Do that beat is fire right there, John. Yeah. That fire right there. Uh, my man John, prolonging the situation. Sapa said to all my patients, my bodyguards, Dominicanos, can't forget about all my Cubanos. Oh, you like that? You like that, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a little heart in it. <laughs> okay, Johnny's gonna get on. <laughs> Headlines, all about the best times. Time to get in money. For me, no rest time. Dropping the best lines. Right behind JP, the boss. This is S time. 849, dropping night rhymes. Me, JP, Afonso, and Afonso.